Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. Right here, right now, this is Kareem in the morning. And thank you so much for taking the time right here, right now, to join me on Kareem in the Morning. I, I am Kareem Clemens. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Kareem in the Morning. So I am going to be giving you guys some breaking news right here, right now. Uh, let me just go ahead and run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. The Omega City News and Talk Show Tea Cream in the Morning Live at 9 House of Workout. What's going on, America? What I see you see in Cream in the Morning you must be over the age of 18. Warning, the views expressed and opinions expressed on this program is just that views and opinions don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so before I continue to move on with my breaking news, I just want to take this time out to give a special shout out to my social media followers right here on the Kareem Clemens YouTube. Okay, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for sharing. And also, I want to thank you guys for joining on TSTCV YouTube, which is the home for Kareem Clement YouTube gaming. So thank you guys so much for being here and showing your support. I also want to take this time out to give my best friend Carlton Brisbane or Carlton Boyd a shout out. I want to shout his brother out, Anthony, and I want to also shout his mother out, Miss Mary. How you guys are doing? Happy 2020. I want to take a time to give you a little history behind them. Uh, I, me and Carlton, we grew up together. Uh, basically, you might as well say we grew up together. Uh, he's visited my church, uh, my church home in North New Jersey. He's celebrated with me uh, many occasions at my home. We lived right around the corner from each other. I lived in Arlington. He lived on Randolph. Um, his mom worked with my mom together at the Jersey City Medical Center before my mom moved on to working in the morgue, uh, she was working in housekeeping and they were working together. So we have a great history together. Shout out to Anthony, shout out to Carlton and shout out to Miss Mary Boyd. Thank you guys for being supporters of the channel and thank Carlton for being a excellent viewer 
of the channel. Thank you guys. And also in the next video, you guys will see your name at the bottom of the channel. Okay, the bottom right there at the ticker. Uh, so giving you special thanks. Uh, also, special thanks to Princess Diamond. Special thanks to Al Nicholson. Special thanks to Nate Love. And special thanks to Daquan Jones. Shout out to Cali LLC, Omega Studio News, What I See, You See, House of Workout, and also Drew Review. Okay. And also, you guys can go to the blog page, which will be in the description box below. All right. So let me just go ahead on to my breaking news. And the breaking news is I know on my last video, I shared with you guys in the uh, description below on ways you guys can donate to the Bronx fire victims. And I can tell you on social media, they are saying that 14 of the 17 victims have been identified and they have held a visual in honor of these victims. I can also tell you that social media is saying that they are um, all 17 fire victims died from smoke inhalation. Uh, it was to the point where they're now saying that they want to do a thorough investigation when it comes to how and why the smoke in this building travel so fast to the top of the building. It didn't go left. It didn't go right. It didn't go down. It went up. Okay. Uh, they want to investigate how that happened and how it can be prevented from happening again. They also want to uh, induct into the training. Okay. When they are giving the training to people, you know how they tell you guys or tell us to stop, drop, and roll. And they tell you that uh, the, uh, uh, the battery in your smoke alarm or in your carbon monoxide alarm needs to be changed. Every time you hear that beep, and you hear it again, beep, and it comes again, beep. That means that you need to change the battery in your device. Okay, the battery is going low, low, low. And you have to change it so it can be there to save your life whenever there's a fire and smoke. And when there is uh, carbon monoxide, because we cannot see carbon monoxide, we cannot smell carbon monoxide, we damn sure can't taste carbon monoxide. Okay, so you will want to make sure those devices are up to date in your apartment as well as having a fire extinguisher okay most apartments and homes don't have fire extinguishers but it's always good to have like a little mini fire extinguisher and then also they want to end up three and two if the fire is in your apartment ladies and gentlemen please make sure that you get to safety but before you get to safety make sure you close the door Close the door, okay? It will make a difference, not just for you, but for everybody that's around you. In this case, ladies and gentlemen, the door was left open and the smoke traveled, okay? It traveled all the way up to the top and they said that there was victims from every floor that possibly succumbed or possibly was affected by the smoke, Okay, this is this is this was the problem. A lot of people were suffering from smoke because the fire was contained down there, but it was that smoke that traveled. Okay, it don't have no name on it, it don't have nothing written on it, it doesn't discriminate whatsoever, and it will travel and it is only doing one thing, or well, possibly two things escaping and in its path is gonna kill. If you don't have the proper material, such as a mask, to get in and get out. Okay, so social media is saying that they have held a visual for these the victims. Okay, uh, they have now said that 14 out of 17 victims 
have been identified. They're also saying that the Bronx fire survivors are filing the first lawsuit seeking $1 billion in damages. Now, I don't know the history of the building. I don't know if it had any violations. I just know that the building is a building that was supposed to house housing authority. Okay, housing authority, building, almost like the same building that went up in flames in Philadelphia in the beginning of this year that killed 13 people. Okay, and the majority uh, of those people, the victims, were kids, just like in this case. They're kids. And uh, uh, third, it's saying how you can help the families affected by the, the, the Bronx fire. In the description below, I will uh, give you guys the links. Okay, give you guys the links below uh, on how you guys can help out. I, I have it in the video, my previous video. I will have it in this video. I will just continue to, to uh, just follow it over, over here. Uh, this is ways where you can donate the legit ways, okay? Uh, one of the ways are where uh, a GoFundMe has been set up to help the family. I have two GoFundMes there. One GoFundMe is for the fire that happened for these victims. And then the other GoFundMe is the fire that happened to the first victims and that fire uh, that killed 13 people in Philadelphia in the beginning of 2022. Okay, so those are ways that you can help these victims. Okay, these victims. Uh, uh, and, and I think they want, I think they're looking, seeking like money donation because I think they have enough stuff right now. But if you can't get there, okay, you can donate to these links below. Okay, it would be greatly appreciated. And thank you guys so much for taking that time out to donate to people to help them in need, okay? We are, it's cold outside in New York, okay? Uh, families don't have no places to go. And all this happened because of a space heater. A space heater. A space heater. Now, when you hear about these fires, majority of these fires usually is usually done by a space heater, okay? If it wasn't done by someone intentionally, but not intent is usually a space heater. The fire before this one, which would be considered uh, one of the biggest fires, well, I did give you guys in my last video uh, uh, the top four big fires, but there was one, one big fire that happened, and I forgot to uh, announce that, but I didn't know about it. It happened in 1911. And it was where 180 something people died in a factory. Okay. And in this factory, there was like areas that was like, they, they was trapped and they couldn't get out. But 180 something people died in a fire in New York in 1911. It was called the Sweat Shop Factory or something. So uh, that was one of the biggest fires. And then the uh the, the the nightclub and then the woody crest and then the prospect ab one before this one okay but the one in prospect ab one was the fire that was from uh, um uh the stove and the door was left open okay and i don't know what was the other one i know the other the the the, the nightclub one was where the um the uh the the man went in and set that room on fire and he killed all those people 80 something people and then i think the woody crest one uh about nine kids died in that one and uh, i don't know if that was done by a space heater i don't know how that one happened but all these fires were tragic okay and it lost a whole bunch of people at one time and on this day, that day that took the lives of these people, the door, if it was closed, then 
it probably would have helped out with saving some lives, perhaps the lives that were gone, but you never can question God on when it's your time to go. Because when it's your time to go, it is your time to go. I'm just indulging myself in what is called pumpkin seeds. I have a habit of eating these on a late night and drinking some water. Okay. okay. Before I move on to closing. Oh, that's some breaking news. So Bank of America lowers overdraft fees and remove insignificant fund fees now i've been i've been actually looking for another bank and i think i'm gonna go to bank of america okay also breaking news emmett tillman and his his mom his mom to award the congressional gold medal emmett tillman mom all right and last but not least i do want to say this I did get a story from one of my uh, social media fans and followers. We have now uh, discovered breaking news, uh, breaking news right now that is coming from Los Angeles, coming from Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Okay, Los Angeles. This is breaking news, Los Angeles. Okay. We have some breaking news coming from Los Angeles, okay, California. We have now just found out that police have apprehended five, five people in connection of the death of off-duty LAPD officer killed this morning, okay? We have now just found out that police have detained five people in connection of the young LAPD officer who only been on a job for three years with LAPD who was shot and killed, okay, this morning in an armed robbery, possibly carjacking attempt, okay? Five people. And what's so crazy about this, I knew that they were going to catch somebody because somebody dropped the gun and it wasn't the officer. Okay, so one of the suspects dropped the gun at the scene and they had amounts and amounts of evidence. I'm pretty sure they set up a hotline. I'm pretty sure that people talk. But right now we have breaking news. Five people have been detained in connection with the death of an off-duty LAPD officer killed in an armed robbery attempt in the Walnut Park neighborhood in South LA. Okay. Uh, wow, this, this officer was young, man. And I won't say he would be the first officer killed in the line of duty, but he would be the first officer killed off duty. Okay. Off duty LAPD, LAPD officer killed off duty in an armed armed robbery attempt in the Walnut Park neighborhood in LA. Okay? We have some more breaking news. We have now just found out and we have brought this news to you before on this channel about the uh, uh, rap star who goes by Adolf uh, Young Dolph Young Dolph who was killed in the cookie store, okay? His killer, an Indiana man, arrested in Young Dolph's death, second man charged. 
Okay, so let me go here and see what they have when it comes to uh, breaking news. Okay, so Memphis, Tennessee, a Tennessee man is wanted in a fatal shooting of rapper Young Dolph in his hometown Memphis was captured Tuesday in Indiana while another man was indicted on murder charges. A grand jury, we're not going to say the name here. Okay, but we'll tell you the age. He was he's 32 years old, uh, was charged or indicted or first degree murder. Uh, I keep forgetting that. Uh, let me see if I can do that. First degree murder. First degree murder charge. Okay, and was arrested. I'm sorry. Uh, and murder charges and other charges, including shooting that killed young Dolph in Shelby County, Tennessee. They also said that uh, another person by the age of 23, just reverse the numbers, because he was 32, this guy 30, 23, was arrested separately by the U.S. Marshal, okay? And, and he was charged with murder, murder warrant for issued uh, for killing young Dolph. And he is being held without bail. Okay, if you recall, Young Dolph, whose real name is Adolph Thompson Jr., was gunned down in broad daylight, ambushed, assassinated at a popular cookie shop on November 17th. Okay, uh, so yeah, so that is breaking news right here, right now. And we also have more breaking news okay more breaking news that have to do with the lapd uh department again but this time a los angeles police officer was fired fired ladies and gentlemen fired for playing pokemon go on the job okay all right, so uh, moving right along. All right, so to close it off, I did uh, announce that uh, previous throughout my show, throughout the week, uh, throughout the weekend and weekdays, previous past shows, uh, that Betty White had passed away at the age of 99. Now, we do know that Betty White has a birthday coming up on the 17th, okay, which happens to be on a Monday, which happens to be Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. So I don't know what they're going to do as far as celebration, but I know what we're going to do. We're going to pay homage to Martin Luther King, but we're going to also pay homage to Betty, Har Betty White as well because, you know, I love Betty White, okay? And I think I went on a binge watch watching Betty White. I think all the funny um, little clips that she has on YouTube, very funny. You guys can get your life up there. But right now, I did find out that funeral services are uh, complete. It will be private, okay, to the public. Just a little bit of a hand, uh, handful of people that's going to attend her service. And I don't think it's going to be public. Uh, so, yeah, so we did find out. I did give you guys the breaking news uh, how she passed. She had a stroke six days prior to uh, her dying on the 31st. What happened will probably be on Christmas or somewhere around Christmas, Christmas Eve is probably when that happened. The public wasn't aware of that because I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear about any story about Betty White having a stroke. Okay, I just know that everybody was planning Betty White's uh, 100th birthday. Okay, that would have gone down on the 17th. All right. So, uh, yes, yeah, she died of a stroke. She had a stroke and that was very, very sad. Okay, but right now, you know, uh, again, she outlived a lot of people. A lot outlived all the Golden Girls. Outlived a lot of people. And again, I say that people might make jokes about her, saying that she could have or should have been dead three years ago, or you know, should have been should have died a long time ago. Uh, look, man, you ain't get there. Okay, you ain't get there. And, and, and there's been a handful of people that gets there to live to be almost 100 years old, okay? So for those people who actually wanted her dead and wanted her gone and stuff, well, she's gone, okay? 
but let's see if you get there. Okay, let's see if you get there. Okay, and it is what it is. That's all I gotta say about that. But I said then, I say it again. She must have been in good, excellent health. She had uh, a list of what her, the longevity of things that she did. Okay, that would be beneficial to a lot of people. There's always something spicy that a person, a wise person who lives to be 102, 103, 105, give you some techniques on how they do that, how they do it to survive. Because obviously they're still walking, they're still talking, they're hearing, no pain, no, not a problem. Okay, so yes, Betty White, she died, had a stroke. And then finally, Bob Saget, uh, Full House, uh, America Funniest Video, a comedy guy who passed away, was found dead in his hotel room, uh, autopsy have come back and it had determined that he had died from possibly natural causes. If anything, there was no top, there was nothing found in the system. Like I said, man, when is your time is your time. Everybody's always asking how, how did it happen? How the person died? We don't know. We don't know. We just know that it is your time to go. We do know that when a famous person die, it usually comes in threes. Okay, usually come in threes. Okay, so we got her, then we got him, and I don't know, somebody else. It's, it usually comes in threes. Okay, it usually comes in threes. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I'm saying it comes in threes because when somebody die famous, other people die, like right off the dick. Okay, like just like that. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my show, Cream in the Morning. And for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. All right, so I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I know I'd be looking over there because, yes, I am controlling all this for now. Okay, see you later. Bye.